Rated T for Teen. You haven't been scared of I see. Good, that's the spirit of a true hunter. There are many weapons in Monster Hunter and you would need to conquer them all to call yourself a true master. Some weapons are more effective against different monsters than others. Maybe you need to penetrate a hard shell or be able to attack quickly when a monster is vulnerable. Selecting the right tools for the right quest is essential. This is something that Encyclopedia Gigantica can help you out with too. Each weapon type has its own unique controls and attacks. Some are built for reach, others for speed, and some... Well, let's just say they can cause serious damage. Blazer at the heart of hunting tradition, coming in many different shapes and sizes. Sword and shield combinations are speedy, balanced weapons, offering you some protection from attacks. Long swords and dual blades don't offer you any protection, but they are light and quick and can be strengthened with spirit and demon attacks. Land an attack with the blade's sweet spot and you will increase the damage inflicted. The great swords give you raw power to take on the hardest of monsters, packing a hefty blow with every swing. You can also use the size of the sword to block attacks. There's more to the weapons in Monster Hunter than just blades. Lances, for example, give a hunter a long reach so you can attack from distance. Gun lances can give a monster an extra dose of damage when you are up close and attacking. There are also bow guns and more traditional bows. Both are ranged weapons, which are best used from a distance. Don't let the bow's unimposing nature fool you. Pair it with the right elements and powers, and you will have one of the most effective weapons imaginable. Handing horns are also something special, capable of all sorts of spells to help you and your fellow hunters. It's not a weapon for novices. Best get some hunting stripes before you tackle those. No matter what weapon you choose, it will offer you something when the battle comes, just to make sure you're dressed for the occasion. Dependent on which set of armor you choose to wear on a hunt, a range of elements will be affected. Some armor sets may make you stronger or speedier in attack, but at the same time make you need food more often to keep alive and healthy. Another set might allow you to defend attacks more readily, but offer no protection from the cold weather. Each armor set is built of five pieces and your aim is to craft and pair the whole suit together. When a whole suit is complete, your hunter can obtain special skills whenever he wears it, perhaps no longer needing to eat at all whilst hunting. You can buy weapons and armor sets with money you received for completing quests, more money being the key to more powerful weapons and stronger armor. Another way to increase your hunting ability is to upgrade and craft your own weapons and armor with items you have salvaged or traded for. Defeating monsters gives you the opportunity to salvage from their carcasses. Depending on monster, you will recover different items such as bones, scales, spikes, etc., which you might be able to use to build a powerful sword or part of an armor set. Just to take a trip to the weapon smith and see what can be built and what you need. This is the way to obtain the best weapons any hunter could wish for. But remember, you can't buy the skills to use them, for that you must train. You're still watching. I take it then you think you've got the guts and brains to be a master hunter. I won't be convinced until you have learned more about some of the other items and combinations in Monster Hunter. How else will you build your traps or make your bombs? Watch Jean's video next to learn more.